Can I hear myself? Yes, I can now. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, you guys, what is going on? How's everything? Claps, claps, claps. <laughs> uh, that's gonna make my afro look kind of crazy, but we will still be here. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So today we are gonna be talking about sex locations. Sex locations meaning places we visited that have sex involved in it, places that, you know, not necessarily to have sex in, but events, places people gather, fetish parties, museums, swingers parties, uh, voyeur parties, you know. There's a lot of events and stuff and, you know, places that people go when they gather that, you know, highly associated with sex. And something that was uh, recently occurred was AVN, which is a place I was not at, <laughs> the AVN Awards. There was many, many people there. But I've attended that festival before, and I've noticed that with uh, going to those type of events, you get a chance to meet a whole lot of new people, and you get a chance to actually shoot like a whole lot more content and reach a new fan base. See, for me, I came from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, let me give gunshots for that. <laughs> Shout out to Brooklyn out there. But yes, I came from Brooklyn, New York, so basically as soon as I came onto the scene, I just was focused on, you know, building sites and creating videos and stuff, and I based myself in Brooklyn. And then as I traveled back and forth to college, which was in Miami at the time, I uh, started to shoot down there. And then after Miami, I ended up shooting in Las Vegas. That was a new place that I ended up to shoot. So a lot of times when you travel to these events, you discover new places. So with ABN, I discovered Las Vegas. And <laughs> for those who've been to Las Vegas, is always what they say. What happens in Vegas definitely stays in Vegas, as y'all already know. Yes, I know it's fucking corny as shit, but it is the fucking truth. You don't have to fucking tell everything that you do every time you go somewhere. Like, you can chill. But anywho, no, being in Las Vegas and being at ABN, that was one of the best experiences that I've had because you get a chance to even see new toys and you get a chance to see new clothing. And we went to this superstore over there that had a bunch of different outfits, so... A lot of the pictures that y'all see, you know, you know, the clothes came from there and other places as well. But, you know, having those type of experiences that were really, really good. And also, you guys also know about Exotica. Anybody wave for anybody who's been to Exotica? Shout out to SSIR Jr. Shout out to Food Chain, Bobby Cash. If you guys also want to call in, we're talking about sex locations, sex locations, sex events, Fetish parties. I've been to one swingers party, as you guys can see on my website. It's called uh, <laughs> Vanessa's First Swingers Party. Uh, you guys can go to my site, vanessasmallstriplex.com, and see that video there. But, um, yes, we are talking about those things. So if you guys want to call in, you can call in at 347-721-3161. That's 347-721-3161. Be able to speak to me, and we can talk more about different sex locations that you guys might be aware of. But yes, so let me see. Hello, BBW Highway. How you doing? I've seen you before, but yes, thank you, Samantha. Thank you for rocking with us. Great supporter out here. We love supporters. Shout out to Quad Nineteen five but yes i need this input from you guys let me know about different sex experiences as far as locations is concerned you guys have had even if you guys do want to shout out i guess your personal locations that y'all like to fucking i always want to hear about that anyways we can take it there too but i was mainly talking about like sex events uh expos you know museums sabrina has a lot of photos recently with her actually being at the Museum of Sex in New York City. So she will definitely be here so we can talk more in depth about that. And also, I, there's another place that a lot of people have been going to too called um, the uh, Pornhub location. I haven't been there as of yet, I know. There's <laughs> a lot of places that I haven't been. But there's many of my friends, including someone named uh, Black Pipe. Shout out to Black Pipe, who's on my site, ratchetbjs.com. Uh, he went out to the Pornhub location. But, um, Mr. D, quick question. I wanted to ask you something. Is there any events or sexual like places that you've been lately? That is what we would love to know. One second. 
Who's down at the bottom? You was at, oh, you was at the sex museum. Shout out to No Boundaries. Where is that? Is that downtown? I think that is downtown. Well, we already know Sabrina was over there. What happened? Yeah, I'm live on IG, and I think this is live here as well. I don't know. I didn't press anything. But yeah, I was basically talking to the people about... Get it on the floor. But yes, I was basically talking to the people about sex locations, and someone was mentioning he went to the uh, sex museum as well. I briefly spoke about my past experiences at ABN, but I didn't get a chance to go into what happened at ABN this year because I was not there. Oh, uh, you was not there. <laughs> I was not there. I didn't get it. Hello, Miss Sabrina. Let's give her a round of applause. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm loving the look. Look how we've switched up. I'm red. <laughs> I love it, I love it. But no, we were talking about sex experience. Somebody else has been to this Museum of Sex. Is she on? What do I press, Uncle Tom? Two. Two. Two is going up. I feel like I look cuter without wearing the headphones, so that's why I took them off. <laughs> okay. That was the only you reason look cute. why I took them off. Take Otherwise, them off. I would keep them on. Hey, but sh shout out to Sabrina. Sabrina I made Ryan, it, right. I made it, and I'm sure. It's <laughs> no. And I'm glad we have sound effects. There we go. The clap button had the clap, the clap button that went to the doctor, the clap button is okay <laughs> now, and the clap hey. button can clap, but no. We have to hear it from both of you guys because I've been a hermit, um, not really out and about in certain places. So we were talking about ABN and also the Museum of Sex. So I don't know who would like to like go first, but what is your experiences going to these places? So I took my girlfriend yesterday. We went and it was fun. They have like a bar. So we went in, we had some drinks. They have a bar there? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, you go in and we had some drinks. We mm -hmm. got a little twisted and then we went upstairs. Yes. Um, first of all, their gift like shop they is amazing. They have like all these toys, like all this like merch. They have like, lube? Yeah, they have everything. <laughs> sure. They even have like stuff that you smoke that like gets you horny. They have like all this stuff. Yeah, like it's pretty awesome. They have a lot of shit. Oh my God. Yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> and I didn't think it would have um, a, it's not like a bar inside. Yeah, it's not like a big. Not too many museums have that. No, yeah, it's definitely different than, like, other museums that I've been to. Were people fucking inside? No, no, it's not like that. <laughs> people were, like, making out and stuff. Like, okay. some like some people were, like, getting, like, all, like, in the mood. But, like, no, it's not like an, it's not like a finish no, party. There's or no corners. Okay, there's no, no. corners for people. But um, it was really awesome. They had all this, like, like you know, all this, like, nude art and stuff, like, from, like, set, like you know, a variety of, like, artists. Mm. But it was all, like, they had this whole, like, section, this, like, whole floor, like, this guy. I forgot his name, but... He's Japanese, and mm -hmm. he, like, takes, like, photos of, like, Japanese women since it's, like, banned in, believe it or not, it's, like, banned in Japan. Why? Well, yeah, I know yeah. that they can't do, yeah. like, They can't, like, do, like, pornography. Like, right. it can't be anything new. So he, like, has all these, like, pictures of, like, you know, these, like, Japanese women, like, tied up and, like, mm. you know, these Japanese couples, like, having sex and stuff. It was really, it was really interesting. Um, it's a small, cool. it's a small um, museum, but mm. it's a lot of fun. So they have, like, artists come there and basically, like, showcase, like, well, I, you, I never. I didn't, we didn't meet. Yeah, we didn't meet the artist, but like a, they like change it up all the time. But mm -hmm. then they had this other artist who I actually like really like a lot. Um, his name is. Damn it. Now, I was on. already looking at your Instagram. If yeah, you guys want to check out some of her photos, Sabrina Ryan official on uh, IG. His name is Polly Nor, and on Instagram it's at Polly Nor. Polly Nor. Yeah, and it's like he like his like whole like take oh, on it. Is like women facing their demons, and he's like my favorite. Like, because that's all she wants is a hug. Yeah, look at it's that. like women facing their demons, and like all of his art is like nice. really like, it's just different. Like he's just different the way he like, like paint like draws pretty much. It's pretty dope. Wow. They have a VR experience too. That is dope. Yeah. What is they, what kind of videos they have like actual porn inside? We, we got there. I don't know, but we got there late. I wanted uh, to go, and they were like they were sold out. But if you guys yeah. go, definitely do that. VR. Yeah. Someone had asked me like, am I gonna ever shoot in VR? I'm, I'm just like, it's I don't like, mind it. Yeah. But I don't know if it's porn, but it doesn't say much. It just has like this whole like, section for it, and you like get in line, and but I they were sold pay out. To see it. Yeah. It I did the titty bouncy house though. That was fun. I did see that. 
That looked like it was the fucking child's playhouse, though. That shit it was awesome. That dope. Like, it's only two minutes they let you go in there because the line is, like, ridiculous. Like, How many people do they allow in there one time? Uh, Two or three at a time. So it's, like, a small, enclosed It's small, yeah. Space. But it's fun. Is there anybody in there sucking the titties? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you saw me, you saw me like sticking my tongue out. Like, ah. <laughs> but it's really cool because, like, like your two person. minutes, your two minutes is your two minutes. So I flashed my, I, you know, my girlfriend took pictures of me with my tits out. Oh, and they didn't yeah. mind? Nobody no, said it's your, w- once you're in there, it's your two minutes, and you do what you want with those okay. two minutes. But, That's kind of dope. Yeah, but it goes really quick. Qu- really quick. <laughs> I'd wait online again for something like that. <laughs> I definitely would. But it was very but fun. No. I'd never got a chance to go to the Museum of Sex. I've always, like, been around in the city and seen, like, different photos, like, where they would do be promoting it. it and stuff like that. So that's something I always thought about, like, embarking in, and I just wanted to see what your intake was on doing that. It's really fun, and it's yeah. cheap. It's, like, 17 oh, shit. per person. I mean, I, went to, I used to go to the MoMA and other places when I was, like, in high school and stuff, yeah. so when I heard that they was making that, I was like, oh, that would be interesting. Yeah, and um, snakes have two penises. So there's not, <laughs> wait, so there's no male and female snakes? I don't know. I just know they have two penises. Just the males? Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. And it's weird. It like Males comes have two It comes And it's like on their bottom. Like it like comes out of their slit. You're going like to make the stocks and snakes go up. Men are going to start buying male snakes. It's like this. I might buy a male snake. I don't know why though. I might need that in my life. <laughs> just buy two penises and then I'll be okay. <laughs> You'll have just something to do. I with probably should. I just like when I saw it, I was still like caught up in like, whoa, snakes have two penises. I didn't even read the thing. Like, why did they I had like an actual yeah, like they demonstration? Have, no, uh, they built up? they just have like um. Some, they have videos though of like um apes having sex and stuff, and like they have like. Oh, oh yeah, I mean, on any given day, if you're really up early in the morning, you can definitely see you know the yeah. New York City street cats and dogs. <laughs> Have it out. Um, I didn't know that dolphins actually have fucked through their blowhole. Yeah, those are the ones that rape people, right? Yeah. Oh the, my God. I was like, what? They're actually really like horny ass fucking animals. Depending on the dolphin, I'm I probably wouldn't call with it them. rape. I don't, I don't know. I might swim with them. You don't know what it could be like. Apparently, there's like a whole. <laughs> my girlfriend told me there's like a whole documentary about them, like and how they like try to rape people. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> like, which I'm actually really looking forward to seeing. But she said there's like. A part where the guy's like screaming, like help, help, and they're like dragging him down into the water. Oh my god, dolphins are gonna get me. Yo, too. they're mad rapey, yo. <laughs> like, damn. I don't want to say shout out to the do- to the rapey dolphins. I'm not gonna say shout out to the rapey dolphins. Rapey dolphins, you need to stop. Just really hormonal, <laughs> horny dolphins. Damn. But I don't know. We, me and my horniness these days, I I might be uh, down for the the dolphin challenge. Not the actual dolphin itself. But <laughs> swimming in the water, that'd be nice. But yes, DJ Uncle Tone. I know that you yes. are here. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Yes, yes, yes. We need to, your recap on ABN. How uh, was that? How was that experience in 2018? It, it was, and was that your first time going? No, it wasn't. But uh, it was different, you know? Yes. Because this time I, I stayed in the Hard Rock Cafe, Hard Rock Hotel, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, because that's right. where the main, where everything right. that's is where going. That's everything, in. the expo is. The award show is everything. All so. of the ladies, all of the pictures. Wait, when was the first time that you went to ABN? What year was that? Oh, 1970 something. Now, um, <laughs> about seven years ago. Seven years ago. So, yeah. do you math, people? No, but now. Yeah, seven, seven years, years ago. ago so. And I was still in Las Vegas, is when they have it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was still, it was you still said you didn't stay at the Hard Rock. Where did you stay at then? <laughs> I stayed at the Bellagio. Oh, okay. Yeah. Bellagio's nice. Yeah, that was that was you know on That's my nice DJ show. Ah, uh, you know, just out yeah. there wilding and profiling, not profiling, giving. Profiling, <laughs> you know, you know. No I'm steps and repeats. No, no step and repeats. But it was, <laughs> yo, it was dope. It's always dope like that, and the rock. It was dope. It was it was really really nice. It was really nice. What it's you, a pleasant event. What do you think has changed though between then and like the past ABN event that you've gone to? <sighs> <laughs> How many girls? You no, know, no, no. But um, I think we spoke about it. Yeah. They cut out the BBW category. Oh, the, yeah. That's like the main thing. I know yeah, a lot that, of people were talking about yeah, that recently. That's, you know that that broke my heart, especially I was hanging with them. You know what I'm saying? Like the the people that were nominated, not just regular BBW, like the people that were nominated. Yeah. I was hanging with them. Like we hung out all week. Yeah. You think what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking forward, like, yo, good luck to you, da-da-da-da-da, and then... And then there's no... 
Even. No love. Damn. That sucks. Yeah. That, is kind of, that, that does suck. I've been around a lot of BBWs myself, and even with dealing with the BBW com, I've been to that event too. That was actually kind of fun in Las Vegas as well, but it's in the summertime, so it's a whole lot. It's it's still crazy, but you know, a lot of females who were at that event, they were nominated at AVN, you know, years before and stuff. So it's just shocking that they would completely eliminate that. Like just even they working with completely, yeah, new category, the incest, incest. that yeah. That's, that's that's icing right so there. They, on top of the cake. So they got rid of BBW to put in incest. That's yeah. That's crazy. That's a little. Who's in charge of that? <laughs> that's a it's little. It's like a question mark. It's a bit it's much. Like, B- BBW porn makes so much money. I don't understand why people wouldn't. I've filmed it. You know, I try to be more versatile in what I want to do. But I filmed all different kinds of porn. I'm a B- BBW myself. Like I like to film and shoot all different kinds of things. So it's kind of weird why they would just shut something like that out i don't know like i guess i guess incest is in like somewhat of a high demand but i kind of get it because i play that role and i like it but i mean it's fun but what role did you play i was the daughter who had a dirty room oh that's still incest right or does incest have to be brother and sister no no it's still incest incest could be like mommy and daughter daddy and daughter yeah Anyone yeah. who would be a is a cousin still line. incest? Cousins, cousins, are cousins are incest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I used to do things with your cousins when you were no. young. <laughs> you, you got a cousin out there. <laughs> yeah, I used to play house and shit. <laughs> oh, I was terrible at playing house because I always wanted to go get real food, and I would every like I would always make a mess, and then <laughs> I would get in trouble for making a mess. So never got a chance to play house. I actually missed out on that. But what does house play consist of? Like, what does playing house consist of now? Because I don't even see kids playing that. Like, Kids don't play house. No I don't more. even see nah, kids playing play house. house. Like, I don't think so. I haven't seen, like, anybody no. play house. Or even <laughs> double dutch. Like, nothing. No. They got, yeah. You know, the school's got double dutch teams and shit like that. But kids right. don't play house. Plus, right. Kids are on their phone and, you know. It's going down. That's it. <laughs> no and house. They, and they tablets. Listen, <laughs> kid, no kids, house. Are, kids oh, are on Snapchat. What other kids sending pictures? So yeah, this is true. Uh, no house. They're, they're That's not house. even. That's house I for have, them. Have, I'm in my house. Hey, <laughs> click. This is house. I have like a younger. I have a. You said they sibling. stuck on video games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> not a sibling. But I have like a family member who is. She's young. Mm-hmm. Um, she's still a teenager and. She got caught last year sending, you know, talking to an older man on the internet. Oh my and it, god! And like, and you know, like it was like shocking or whatever. But it's like I couldn't even give her advice because that was me. Yeah. When I was that age, I'm like not that on sad. chat rooms talking to strangers, like not knowing who the fuck I'm talking to. Yeah, I didn't do the chat room but thing. See, but it was but more so in person. But I still do the but same in, thing. But in in the same token, at that age. Did you kind of care what age the person was? No, because no. I was I was in, uh, vulnerable and I was curious and I I. You're just I was, open to I was a stuff for me. Bad girl, that was bad. <laughs> like I was just like I, I don't even call it bad. I call it good. <laughs> <laughs> because like because like I would get in trouble. Like I've gotten in trouble several times with older guys when I was like 16, 15. Like just yeah. not not cool, man. Just yeah. not cool. And like and then you know my dad is like having like a fucking heart attack. Cause he's like, oh my god, my daughter's trying to get kidnapped, and it's just like, <laughs> like now that like I think if I put my dad through something like that, like that makes me nervous to have a daughter. But yeah, it comes kind of comes back like, around. I used to be lying, like yo, I, like I'm around yeah. the corner lying, like like trying to say I'm in East New York and I'm like in Manhattan <laughs> on like one twenty first street. Yeah, shout out to the bad kids out there. Shout You'll out find your way. way. I was just. You'll find your way. <laughs> or you, or you just get kidnapped. I mean, right. shit. <laughs> yeah. Either way. I would put myself in some really like sticky predicaments. But I used to I love know. those chat rooms. Ugh. And I used to have an app called Party Line. Party Line. Have you ever heard of it? No. They still have it too. And it's like now it's like all updated and shit. Because I was looking at it. I was Party like, I used line. to use this shit. It's like an app, but you go on the phone with strangers like around the world. So like it just connects you with people. And you're just talking. And you so something like you have phone sex. a little bit. Yeah, but you have like phone sex. Like, ah. hey, this is Vanessa. Yeah, who's, and then you're like, oh, who's this? Yeah, and then he's, like, <laughs> then he's like, you know, what do you look like? And, you know, you tell them. And then they're like, oh, well, I'm what are you doing this. to yourself? Like, shit like that. And then, like, you could just end the call and uh, never have to talk to them again. Oh, oh is, it, is one of them pressed to talk to Yeah. Who? Or he was on the line and shit like that? It just, you don't know who you're going to talk to. Oh, okay. I'm a terrible yeah. communicator. I was. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you downloading the app? <laughs> <laughs> 
Because <laughs> I was looking for a party I, Listen, right I support now. my baby girl now. <laughs> if this she was, says it's popping, no, but that was when I was like 16, 17. Party like, line. Oh my God. It was, I was. MySpace I was, was it too. A lot of things yeah. went down from MySpace. And I don't know if you had Skullnex, but that was another thing. I got stalkers from MySpace. Oh, man. Yeah, and Skonex also. <laughs> Skonex I'm talking, yo, listen, D. Where the hell is he's D? Gone. He's gone. He heard the conversation. Left. But yo, I'm talking about they used to show up to the club, and like you know how you you post like where you going to be yeah. at shit like that. Get That's why you never section. see me post anything. Think yeah, about I get, it. Get like iffy about yeah. where I post. Like, yeah. Where I'm at. Mm-hmm. So they Unless would I'm show with up, someone. Mm-hmm. show up to the DJ booth like, hey, I'm so and so from MySpace. What's up? Oh, wow, that's bold. I'm a DJ groupie. Can I suck your dick? Right there. Nope. And I'm like, oh. Did you let them suck wow. your dick? Wow. Yeah, that's a great question. No. You would lie. No, not, <laughs> not, 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 no, 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 seriously. Not, that it's too, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's on. too direct. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? My it's shit like, is, I didn't my even shit ask. It's golden. Oh, see, you, what, you, you, you want like a little bit of a. <laughs> you can't just get to this. Right. You want a little get, bit of a fight. Yeah, give me, no, give me a, a conversation. Challenge. And he wanted to, yeah, give like, me a pacify me a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's not like, I, like if I'm going into a swingers like, situation. Rub my back a little bit. And it's like, <laughs> like 50 of us in a swingers party. That's one thing. You know what I'm right. saying? A, but a, you come up while I'm DJing and working. There go D. D. <laughs> now, remember, I, we used to do White Rabbit and Sapphire yes. back to back, right? Yes. And remember, I had to tell you, like, yo, this fucking stalker bitch is trying to suck my <laughs> dick in the DJ booth. Get her the fuck up out of here. Yeah. Oh, my God. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Like, and and it's, it's cool. Like, if, I, if we had a conversation prior to and it. And then she was like, can I suck your dick? And I'm like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So she's supposed to talk you into it. So ladies talk, out there, if you're trying to, to suck let's, my let's dick. Let's get familiar. <laughs> so familiar. Don't, don't stalk me like oh pop up on me. It, that shit mm. is scary. That, <laughs> See, and, Depending and, on how she looked, though. Like if she looks like really, really good, does that, does that matter? She on no, a mission. He's none like, of that no. matters. No. <laughs> if you Oprah Winfrey. Want you to be creepy, man. Oprah Winfrey come up. Uh-huh. And she's just like, I just, you know, I want to suck your dick, Uncle Tom. Really, Oprah Winfrey? I'm just saying. Do you do you think she's like? Hot? I feel like there's always. It's not about hotness. I well, feel like see, there's. Oprah Winfrey there's come women. With the price, like, hmm. So you got charged, Oprah? You ain't, you ain't yeah. gonna bring me up on no allegations or nothing like that. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? <laughs> and see, and that's another thing with stalkers too. See, I've been like being around Master P and them. I've been in situations where I've seen mm. rappers and DJs get caught up. Just like that, mm. you understand what I'm saying? Like, mm. groupie come up, let me boom, 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 and then hole in the condom, and they want checks. Exactly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So me, I gotta, you know. Okay, what's your idea? I never understood. All right, that. Where you from? Who you? Some know? people bitches are crazy, yeah. man. Yeah. Some bitches are just crazy, extremely right. crazy. Like, crazy. don't get pregnant like, if it come with a check. They don't right. fucking care. I don't, I don't even don't understand care. that. Like, what kind of union are you? No, nothing. <laughs> just to say that their baby belongs to so and so. Like, they're it's fucking. Terrible. They're wicked, yo. It's terrible. <laughs> the links. No, no they, and they actually do that. Like, they actually stalk to get with somebody famous or popular to get a check later on. So. And I I've been in this business long enough. Women do that on a lower enough. level, anyways. That's just probably like they they reach. A I don't know too. why. Like that's like they women are always doing something to try to get somebody's attention, or like it, it can sometimes be uh, not that obvious. They they could do it in a discreet kind of way, but some I think that might be a trait of women sometimes. It, it could be, you know, and women always now, know how to do and certain I, and things. And I'll be honest with you. You know, I tell the truth, Bree. Right? If we out partying, right, and I'm I'm not DJing. Right, I'm not in character, and it's fucking alcohol, weed, cocaine flowing, and, <laughs> and we partying hard. And you come up and say boom, 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 then yeah, we go slide in the bathroom. I take the head. You understand know oh, what I'm saying? My. Because you're not coming to my event, my venue. You don't know me as me. Mm-mm. You just know me as some random dude in the club. That's, All right, let's go. That's that's some crazy. That's some crazy right. stuff. Um, I was never onto that. So I have a question. Mm-hmm. Question. So. But me and my girl were, you know, doing the dirty, and we were we were exchanging fantasies. Mm. And I want to know: Do you guys have any fantasies that you have not fulfilled yet? Fucking in the jungle. Okay, that is really Welcome specific. To the jungle. <laughs> yeah, it still has yet to be jungle fever. 
<laughs> still waiting on this. This has been a ongoing thing. But yes, Uncle Tone. <laughs> I mean, you know. Somebody need to take her to the ring first. Hang, something, hang, something. Listen, I hang out in a place in L.A. called the Jungle. With that, oh, my with God. That matter. I might Shouts have to, to the whole that place LA. I might have to check that place out. I need a jungle. Like, you, you need know, a jungle. Jungle. Amazon rainforest. Has to be grass. Like, knees have to be in the grass. Real dirt. No animals. No animals. Well, not that's that kind of jungle. That's kind of hard. What kind of jungle you right. Yeah, like the non- Man-made jungle? <laughs> yeah. You want to go camping. That's what that is. One of those fake jungles where it's just gr- gr- grass and shit. No so animals. So just, just go upstate real quick. Yeah, go Just go make to sure it's raining and go shit. Go to Catskills <laughs> Mountains or something like that. Go camping. That might work. It's you actually ever, really fun. Have you ever been yeah. camping? Yes. Yeah, when I was little. I, I was a Girl Scout. Okay, so go yeah. camping. That's it. Yeah, you gotta tap into some old shit. Some old shit. Some old shit sometimes. All right. But yeah, fuck it in the jungle. Uncle Tom. Fuck it in the jungle. What is yours? What? Your dream. What did you say? Your sex. No, just your f- a fantasy that you want to fulfill. Sexual fantasy that you want to fulfill. I used to call uh, it sex dreams. I don't know. I, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Like, he's, <laughs> like, he's like. He's like. He's well, like. I've done it all. Everything off the list. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I have to have sex okay, in a let's private. Go, let's go to Super No, you can't skip. You don't got nothing. I, I, really I want to have sex in a private. You know what? Okay, how, how about this? <laughs> right? I've never had sex with a co-worker. All right. Never had sex in a co-worker. But that's respectable. Not, and not yeah. saying that that's a fantasy, but, you know, any any. Fantasy. It is risque. Yeah. It is risque because, and yeah, you know I, I never had sex with a customer. You know, I do. I work nightlife, so I never... If you're a cus- like if if well depending on your lifestyle that might be the job. Well, <laughs> yeah. See here you go. I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a club manager, y'all. So I've never customer. Or Have you ever been tempted? Yes. Yes. You have a lot of willpower. Yes. Because I don't. Very, very tempted. And most guys now don't now if you if I'm at your club and okay you're a customer at your club yeah, but not my place because I don't want I don't need that come back. At all. Especially if you own the business. Right. What about you up there? Any fantasies? A queen. <laughs> a queen? On a throne. So, like, role play. Not in particular, though. Not in particular. You just gave me an idea for a video set. Shout Yo, word. <laughs> so, wait, like, are you, like, a servant in this situation? Ooh. Are you, like, a servant in this situation? Like, she's, like, on her throne and you're, like, giving it to her? Or? Yes. Yes. If oh, if that's sorry. what she wants. Oh, okay. That's cool though. That is a that's a good idea for some porn. Yes, with the that's king a and good, queen. That's a good scenario. I've always liked those type of uh pornos. That's who I want to start. Like creating super too. like fantasy, like Yeah, like yeah. I, unfortunately Taboo, the great uh incest. Yes, <laughs> yes, my yes, my favorite. Uh, uh, Shouts uh, to Kirby Stevens. Kirby Stevens started it. I don't even remember who's Yes, names Kirby or Stevens <laughs> that started all the taboos. Oh wow. Yeah. It would be great to have all of those different people on the sets and what they were able to accomplish. But nobody's doing nothing like that right now, so you people have to get on your job out there. Well, maybe somebody's going to do something because you're, you're right. going to co-direct. You're going to co-direct my video, right? <laughs> the X-rated cheddar cheese oh, version. Yeah. Bad. Okay. I'm, I'm going to make a story okay. out of it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? A little lineup. A little, you know. I like that. Shameless plug, right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cheddar <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys are so crazy! But no, I, I definitely enjoy talking about different like. Locations oh, hold on, and stuff I like do, that. I do have one. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes, okay. sex dream. I mean, sexual, sex dream. <laughs> sexual fantasy you want to live out. Lisa Ray McCoy. She's bad. Yeah. I like that. She's part of yeah. the reason why I got into porn. Like I became obsessed with the the Players Club the Players DVD. Club. Yeah. Nobody should have gave me that DVD. <laughs> they shouldn't have given that to me. <laughs> but no yeah she's bad yeah she's bad so she just walked up to you no matter where you at yeah no, that don't matter yeah listen so <laughs> that that's don't what i to say I, I mean over Wolfie was the first person yeah, that came to my mind there's exceptions like, to the rule I'm like, always Lisa Ray McCoy. I'm like yeah whoa, whoa, yeah, <laughs> you, you, you get it all <laughs> there's you exceptions to the rule always yes you, you get it all uh, and nobody then, even know, asked me, man. It's my idea. And, and then, and then depend, <laughs> Bree, and then dep- depending on how I'm feel, right? If I'm anti-black that day, because you know I'm I'm usually anti-black. <laughs> yes. 
usually <laughs> anti-black. You know, I love my Negroes. You understand what I'm saying? But I would I would go. You you said Oprah Winfrey, right? Mm-hmm. See, I would go Martha Stewart. Oh my God! You heard it Stop saying? it! You know what I'm saying? Cougar I'll take town. Oprah. You could have Martha. Hey. You, all right, baby. There you go. Switch it up. <laughs> Cougar Town, baby. Y'all are terrible. <laughs> Oh my God! Well, if y'all are having uh, Oprah and Martha, let's see. I would have. Morris Chester doesn't compare to that though. You don't have as much money as them. Mm-hmm. I'd have to have Bill Gates and. Okay. And she would have a uh, Steve. Huh? Steve Zuckerberg. That could work. Mm. Me? Homeboy from Facebook. Is oh that no. The same guy? What know. you mean, like as far as famous people go? Yeah. Oh no, my, I have a guy and a girl. Okay, let's hear. So my guy would be Jim Halpert from The Office. I don't um, what's his, his John Krasowskin or some shit like that. Uh-huh. He's married to uh, Emily Blunt. I know who she is. I feel I may have seen him. I don't no, know. You never watched The Office? Mm-mm. No. Sorry. Anyways, that's my dude, and I don't know why, but it just, he just is. And then I gotta know. <laughs> and then it just. <laughs> she <laughs> looked it up. Uh, <laughs> But you have to see him now, not, not, what? that's him, but you have to see him now. So put his name in, Look put his real you. name in. No, put his real name in. <laughs> Look at you. It's John, yeah, John. Jim no, that's not his real name. That's his name in the, in the show. Oh, put so John. John Christie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on one second. Okay, he looks decent. No, you gotta. That's not the one though. <laughs> There's like one picture that I'm like, yeah. Shout out to him for being yes. somebody who don't take a whole no, lot no, of no. pictures. Okay, he has a couple. <laughs> that that looks decent. That one up there. This no, is it. That one. Nope. 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 Down. Over down. Here. That one. Yes, they are still. No, uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bunch of pictures online, folks. <laughs> Just at one to get out. The one with the white beard. The one with the white beard. Yeah, that this one. Is it. This is it. <laughs> So I'm just but letting no. you guys know. They're <laughs> going through pictures online. So I, no. I will continue <laughs> and, then the, and, and talk about uh, some and of then my the, friends. The and woman, then the woman is Megan yeah. Good. Yes, okay. Megan, Megan Good. Megan Good I, 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 yes, yes. Megan Good I think she's... I just had to get an idea, yeah. a visual. She's of what's precious. <laughs> And I like how she didn't give up the pussy for an entire year. Niggas uh, don't usually like to do do that, you know. So he stayed. I'd, I'd wait for two years for me. <laughs> two, three years. Yeah, that's honestly and like what? that's it's worth it. It's worth Maybe it. Maybe good you'd wait for. You know? <laughs> She's beautiful. <laughs> um, shout out to, shout damn, out to nobody me. asked me my fantasy shit. <laughs> okay, okay, let's get to it. What is your fantasy? Um, I, I want like my girlfriend to close. fuck me in front of mad people. Like outside in public? Not, not in public, like at a party or something. Like a voyeur show type of thing? Yeah. That might be which, actually kind of good. It, How many people, though? It don't matter. So it could be like 100 people in a room. It don't matter. I, I, what would you wear? Nothing. I would want her to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> what like, do you wear no with stri- occasion? Like there's that. no strip tease See, or nothing. She's now, like, I just want to walk on stage. This is why we got to call homeboy. Go to his swingers club so she can get fucked in front of mad people. You could do what you do and see it happen, right? Yeah. And I could be like, yeah, my girls. You know I'm, <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I like that. I like and that. And it's bring your own bottle, remember? Oh, okay. Yeah. Bring your own bottle. See, the only Wait, swingers which one? party I went to was in, in Georgia BF. Yeah. But you, you were talking that's, that's about the, the, one the place city. you have in city. In, in the, the city, city, yeah. Oh. Which one? I forgot. His, his number's here. <laughs> he, we interviewed him. Oh, okay. That's what's yeah. up. But no, I do have to actually get out to some more swinger parties because the only one I went to was in. Uh, I go New to more. Jersey, I don't really. I yeah. enjoy fetish parties a little more than I do swing. Yes. I go to fetish parties like yes. quite often, but I, I do too. But what's the difference between a fetish thing. party and a swingers party? Fetish party, the sex? sex isn't isn't out in the open. It, they would have private rooms, and because it's not like a se- it's fetish. It's only fetish. So their main thing isn't focusing on people fucking because okay. it does make some people uncomfortable. That's kind of true. Yeah. And depending on what. Yeah, if that's not like what they're into. So it's like more toys involved. Or it's more fantasy? like it's more like rope, and it's more like spanking, and it's more like just these roles that mm, these people mm. play. Oh <laughs> my goodness! But <laughs> I used to. So I have a friend who runs a swingers party, and they're always inviting me. But I stopped going because I'll go, you know, and I have my Tired bottle. Of being spanked. 
No, I'm like, I'll just, I'll, the swingers party's like, I'll just sit at the bar and I'm drinking, but I'm dressed. Like, I'm the only one that's dressed. Like, I'm not with it. But I feel like that just makes them want to try to get me naked even more. Right. So I'm just in this really sticky predicament. I'm like, no, I'm fine. Thank you. Like, I'm just, just watching. <laughs> and it's just, it, it's gotten to the point where I'm just like, I just got really uncomfortable because I'm like, yo, like, your friends are animals. Like, yeah. goddamn. It's like, you could no, want to like get loosened up. You bring me and Vanessa, right? And I sit there, I'm your bodyguard. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? And boom, I'll be like, no, no, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> all right? I don't mind watching an orgy go down. Right. Yeah. I love watching that because it's honestly amazing to watch. Because I'm like, yo, I that's a lot of times. body heat going Action, on. Action, <laughs> expression, a lot. It's juices. Just, but I couldn't yeah. be in the middle of that. Like, I would get claustrophobic anxiety. I get <laughs> nervous because I don't know who got what and what's what and who's doing what. Yeah. Someone slips a finger in the wrong hole, I'm gonna be mad. So it's <laughs> party's over. <laughs> finger goes in the wrong I, hole, yeah. and party's over. Party's over. <laughs> party's definitely over. But no, like I feel like even after me going to the first swings party that I went to, it wasn't a whole lot of fucking going on. They did have separate rooms, like something like what you had set up. Yeah. But it wasn't a whole lot of fucking going on. So I was there with one of the guys that I was working with at the time and I just said well why not shoot a video here and I ended up shooting a video in the middle of the room and people came out and they started watching the video like what, what we were doing but no nobody did anything after that so I never really got a chance to actually see what happens at the swingers party because I thought when I was on the walk in it was just gonna be like wall to wall just fucking and people sometimes just out there sometimes it is so. and sometimes people a lot of people go just for the experience and nobody really like participates Mm. Like, cause I've seen like a lot of people watch. Yeah, like I've seen, oh, like they're sucks. like expecting other people to be doing stuff, <laughs> and then other people just, expecting and then no other one's people. doing anything. Everybody's <laughs> just staring at each other. Everybody's expecting other people to do stuff. So I mean, usually the the last one, the last one that I used to go to, that I, every time I went in there, there was people walking around naked. There was one guy, he was there every single time, and he just had this really creepy smile on his face, and he would just jack off. Everywhere he was walking. Him. I respect him. He's, no, yeah, but it was just business. so funny. Cause the he's first not bothering time, anybody. That was the first time I went there. I'm drinking. I turn around and homie's just like staring at me, jerking off. I'm like, oh my God. That's a compliment. <laughs> nah. He's like staring at me, jerking off. I'm like, I don't know what to do right now. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I didn't like, stay. Let him finish. I'm like, Let can you just finish. back up a little bit? He's like, you a little too close. Like, these is brand new jeans. <laughs> yeah, well, don't, don't. <laughs> Gotta keep your distance if you now, can't shoot, I want, right? I want, now that she said that, right? Yes. <laughs> is that a fantasy now, you have? My man Super D is in the building, right? Yes. Now, I've told some stories here. Yeah. And I'm going to look at you as I tell the story. We used to do after parties at a friend's house, right? Gosh. And I told you this before. The friend used to break out the glass dildo, no matter how many people was yep. in the house, yeah. and... <laughs> And squirt all over the place. Squirt all over. Right. Squirt all over the place, right? Everywhere. 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 And then put the dildo down, continue smoking and drinking like it's nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Coming on cue. Shout out to her. Coming on cue. Coming Boom. on cue. Just straight like that. That's some boss shit. That's, That's some boss. Coming and she was a boss. Cue. She was a boss. I give, I give it to her. So when I tell you certain <laughs> things go down, it can go down. See, that's hey. why a glass of is here. So you can we believe some, some of these stories. And so we can get a glass dildo. That's I, got, I feel like those would hurt. That's what I thought about, too. But I Maybe mean, depending those. on your angle, it might not be that bad. I think about the texture and it being smooth, so it might not. I don't know. I like silicone. Silicone bends so it works. But when I masturbate, I actually don't even use anything. I just watch. Oh, you missed the vibrators I bought two weeks ago. Oh. The little, little keychain vibrator. My, ba- my battery died on mine. I broke mine already. It was so little, but it was mad powerful. Like, <laughs> Did you use up the battery? I did. It's broken. Oh, my God. Shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out to you. It just stopped. It was broken. like, duh, duh, duh. Oh my God. I was like, no. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so terrible. And usually when I used to have dildos, I used to have to actually rebuy the actual batteries. Like, it wasn't no... Uh, Charging pieces or anything, and a lot of and then I broke and then I broke my now. big wand, my big one, the magic wand, like the Hitachi. Yeah, I fucking yeah. broke that one too. Well, me and my girlfriend broke that one actually. I tried to stuff that in my vagina, and oh no, that's said, not where it yeah, goes. You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> that's kind of what I did when I first bought it, and then I, I started watching videos, seeing other girls use it. I was like, oh, that's how you use it, and I was okay afterwards. 
<laughs> Vagina still intact. So me and so me, me and my girl like would use it at the same time. It's like she'll lay on top of me and we'll put it like in the middle. So like it's rubbing on both of us. Oh, because it's spinning. Yeah. So, but we broke That's it. Kind of nice. <laughs> it's like now it's sort of like electrocuting. It started electrocuting me, like because it wasn't really? the battery one. It was just the the, the plug in. Oh, so you're still plugged into the wall. Yes, yeah. Mine's was old school, but it was powerful. Mm. But it fucking started like hurting. Like it was it like zapping me. I was like, ow, ow. Like that's not fun. Oh, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Depending on the night, though, you might think it's you know. That you. shit hurt. I oh. used to have a paddle like that every time I hit you to shock you. Slap well, that's fine. That would be nice though. Yeah, that's fine. I'll bring it next week. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking weed. I had a really good question and I can't even think of it. <laughs> Shout out to Vanessa. So let's that. take a break. But yes. Let's sip, take a break. We are gonna something. be back. We're gonna be talking about sex locations, amongst many other things on the Smile 69 Network show. Still gonna be about sex, so we're gonna be back.